Hello friends. So this is my second how to service a winch video. Um, the first one I made, um, I wasn't sure how to go about servicing bronze winches. Uh, the whole reason I made the video was because I couldn't find any videos when I got the boat that showed how to service this old style single speed bronze winch. <clears throat> so I put it up and said, you know, I might be doing some stuff wrong. If, if you guys see anything I could, you know, do better or I'm doing wrong, please let me know. And I got roasted. Um, a lot of my viewers were really nice and they're like, actually, um, you should do this instead of that and explained what I was doing wrong and, and gave me tips on how to do it the right way. Some people were total assholes. They got blocked because they felt the need to insult me. I'm just putting this up to try to help anyone that has this old style winch that's new to yachting and um, doesn't know how to service it. So, the, uh, thanks to my YouTube education, I um, am now making, I took the video down because I didn't want to spread misinformation. Um, so now I'm putting up a new one uh, with the uh, correct way to service a single speed vintage bronze winch. <clears throat> now, I got, I used marine grease in my last video and I used way too much of it because um, I'm a redneck and that's just what happens. So, I understand you're supposed to put a thin layer of grease, so I got the Harkin grease for the winch. And there's little levers that I'll show you called pawls, and they take oil. So I got paw oil. So, some things online and uh, tutorials and stuff say you can just use WD-40 on that and the springs if you'd like. Um, I went ahead and just went to West Marine and got like matching lubricants so that I could make the video with like the proper stuff. Um, so the winch has a slot like a giant flathead screwdriver. And you, what you use is you use the end of your winch handle to break that nut. Once you get that broke, set it aside. Looks pretty clean, but and you know the main thing with winches, these ones are really simple. But more contemporary winches have a lot of moving parts. So you want to do one winch at a time, obviously, and just kind of lay them out in an order. Unless you're really familiar and you can just throw them willy-nilly, um, it's advised to lay them out in, a, in, in the correct order that you've taken them apart, like you would with any automotive, like if you're rebuilding a car or something. So these are very simple. And a lot of people were like, oh, you didn't do this or that. but. Um, Winch styles vary across the board, especially old ones to new ones. There's like different manufacturers, different time periods. They're very, they're all have their own bits. So this one is the most simple possible. So we just have our top. So these are our paws and they have little springs and we're gonna be taking those out and cleaning those. This is the barrel, which on mine has little plastic sleeve inside the drum or barrel itself there's a plastic sleeve on the bottom too so that's it and then this is just the shaft and more poles down here there are no ball bearings to this last time I did this people were like oh you didn't take out the bearings you didn't take out the bearings this type does not have bearings it's just bronze on bronze and the thing that creates a smooth motion is keeping it properly lubricated, which is what we're going to be doing today. So, and some of the, the, the newer bronze ones may have bearings inside. Um, definitely like contemporary winches have bearings, but these, this model is just bronze, bronze, bronze all day long. <clears throat> the other thing to really be mindful of is when you pull these out, they're springs, so don't let them fly into the ocean because I can't imagine they're very easy to come by. So I got the little spring and I got my paw and you can clean this stuff 
with um, you could clean it with acetone you could clean it with mineral spirits um, some of my viewers pointed out you can clean it with diesel which is what I'm doing today which is nice because if you have a diesel engine such as I do on here tri here on Tritea you have an abundance of diesel so if you're at an anchorage and you're deciding to do some boat work you can easily have diesel to clean your parts with and I just I just poured some out for my fuel filter like the water little valve on the bottom of the fuel filter got some diesel I'm just gonna give it a good scrub you can also clean this if you don't want to use diesel with um, WD-40 last time I did the video I did it with um, acetone which I'm a big fan of acetone take baths and acetone you just want to get all that old gunk off get it nice and clean back to the smooth bronze there's little pins in there that I think on this you would have to pry them out it's completely unnecessary for me to remove them because it cleans up it's not these this one's not too bad um, one of the ones on my the ones on my mast are smaller than these and don't have the plastic slides um, Oh, there we go. She's all happy. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the uh, paws now. And these are real simple. This is what creates the ratcheting um, of the winch itself. There's teeth on the bottom I'll show you and there's teeth on the top. That's when it has two separate paws. And again, this is the most basic winch you can imagine. So simple. Gunky. I mean, who knows last time these things were serviced. This boat was so neglected. I can't say much because I've had it for a year and I haven't serviced them. So. The only one I ever had give me trouble is one of the ones on the mast. It's pretty sticky. But these ones, they haven't been too bad, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put my little spring. It's real simple on this setup. Back in the ball and then push him in to his spot. Same thing on the other side. It's real simple. It's just like a slot. I got my little spring, just set it in there. There's like a cutout on the base, so it's easy. There's only one way to put it in. So those spring like that can create the ratchet motion. I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything before I uh, start greasing up this and looping it up. So here's the um, teeth. They correspond with the paws to create the ratchet on the bottom, on the top.
some winches might, if they racked, you know, were around a lot of dirt or they had too much grease, um, they would be real gunky, but these ones are pretty minimal. Assemble it while we're waiting for all the parts to get clean. You just turn it, see it locks in like that. And it's a little wiggly because I, I haven't put my plastic slides back in. Now you might want to be careful what you clean this plastic stuff with. Um, I don't think diesel will mess with it, but I'm going to go light on it. I'm not going to soak it in diesel or anything. But acetone may eat this stuff. I can't, I, I'm not sure but um, something to be aware of. I'm actually a little shocked that there's plastic in these considering they're from 1965. The ones on the mast don't have plastic slides at all, it's just bronze. action on Sunday. People are out and about on their boats. So I got both my plastic sleeves cleaned. I'm gonna go ahead and this is my, my top. Put the paws still dirty. Go ahead and take those out and put them in the diesel. Real simple, not even that dirty. the other just a little paw trying to show you guys this without dropping in the ocean so I got my little spring you can see it sticking up there in the paw I have the receiver curve Put it in like that, push that back, she sits in all happy. Does her job. And then, same as below, just give this a turn, kind of get it to hop in there. You hear that ratchet action? Again, she's bucking because we don't have our slides in yet. So now we're all ready to um, lube her up. Oh yeah, go ahead and here's the uh, top where you put the winch handle. So the, you know, just like that. That's for life for me when I first saw this. I was like, how in the world, where am I going to get a screwdriver this size to get this damn thing off? But I figured it out with that. I can't remember. My friend Jordan came over and showed me first how to pull this apart. 
and I, I, I can't remember if he showed me or if I'm, if I asked him if that's how he did it, and he said yes. But, but he showed me how to take everything apart and kind of demystify the whole process for me. But um, then I wasn't sure what, how much grease, what kind of grease, all that stuff. So now we're getting it done right. start out with just a little bit of this arc and paw oil and you want just a little bit you could also use WD-40 on this but I want to go ahead and get something proper for marine environments so that's it that's all you need get to our grease it says outstanding anti-wear formula designed to optimize winch performance and obviously this is more sophisticated like winch grease than what existed when these were made but um, that just means it'll work better I guess just gotta, real light otherwise it'd get gunked up I'm doing red next time. Mostly here on the shaft, and I'm also going to do it on the base, just a little, because that there might be bronze contact there. But I don't want to avoid getting this on the paws, so we're not going to put any down there. So that should that should be enough. put my first plastic slide on my second oh the second one goes on top and I got my my drum turn it so it clicks there it is get my hair off of it now we'll go ahead and put our second plastic slide like that. And then we're going to use, so we're coming back to our paw oil for our paws on the top. Just a little bit. Nice and happy. Go ahead and set that on. Turn it until it snaps in. Kind of want to turn it the reverse direction to make those paws close. And we got our little nut on top. Locks it down. There you go, tighten it up. You're ready. Ready to go sailing. And that's how you do it. I'm sure that there's still going to be people telling me I did something wrong, but um, that'll get the job done. So I hope this was helpful for anybody trying to figure out how to service these and you don't know how, you just got your boat or you just got a set of bronze winches. Um, that's what it looks like inside my winches. That's how simple it is, and uh, there's plenty of videos for more complicated winches out there, but this is for all of us with Classic Plastic, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it helps. So, fair winds until next time.
Aren't you going to pass? Stop! 